Hi everybody, Martin the Flickin' Feathers again today. Tying another wet fly for you. This is a Jersey and Partridge uh, wet hopper. Very effective little fly. Great, great on the still waters. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to my Patreon page for anybody who would like to support the channel, get access to the members only content, and be entered into the giveaways. So I'm going to hook in my vice. This is a B175 size 12 Kamazan. Uh, you could also use the Fuller Mill Competition Heavyweight. I'm going to start my thread. And then I'll take my rib, which is small oval gold. Catch that in. Put it on top so you just so you can see. I'm just drawing it in so it's to the end of where the body will be. Now I'm just got to take my thread back <coughs> to the start of the bend, basically. Body is just here's here. I've got some uh, sort of light. Here's you know what you want the sort of fawn colour rather than like the dark greyer stuff. I like I like it a bit lighter in the sort of tanny end. It's up a fairly sparse. Rope with that. Don't need. You neither need nor want it too heavy. And I'll just waste that thread. And then I'll come up. I'm just building a bit of taper as I go. Sweep everything back there, just then you'll see. Hopefully, hopefully, you'll see it. I've left a decent space there, a quarter of the shank, right? Look, like three mil because I've got my legs. And, well, I need to tie off my rib, then I've got my legs and two hackles, so you need plenty of space. So I'm going to take a full turn at the back and then just come up with the rib, four or five turns. Catch that off. Trim away your waist. And just tidy up. And you're ready for your legs. It's just a natural pheasant tail. One, two, there's a broken one. One, two, three, two, four, six. Just taking away that broken leg there. And then I'm going to split these so I've got three on either side. He's just this sort of fighting me a wee bit for some reason. There we go. Make sure the tips are aligned. Length. Well, you want it coming off the back behind the body so they're visible, so I like something like that, a little bit of shank length off the back. Or so. Tie them in. How are we look? I like that. That's fine. A few 
few wraps will secure them in place and then you can trim away the waste. So the first hackle on this is a, you want like a gingery, a sort of low grade gingery neck. I've got this nice sort of Cree or ginger variant thing. Um, but anything, anything like that is fine. Looks a bit pale. Looks like a nice one. Check the length, that'll do. And this is a Chinese. Um, you don't want, you don't want too crisp a hackle in this. You know that like something, a cock hackle is what I like, but um, on the hennier end. That's rubbish on my thread. Get that tied in, break away the stem. I'm going to just. You don't need a lot of this, just enough to sort of support the partridge, really, give you a wee touch of the colour. But fold it as you wind, one turn in front of the other. Number of turns will depend on the feather, right? But you can, you see, it's 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 a nice, a nice sort of gingery colour. Now I'm tying. I fold the tap back. And I'm going to tie back over it a wee bit, just forcing the hackle backwards. Keep your thread tight. You should be able to just snap away the the tip. And then the last thing is a wee brown partridge hack. So stripping away what I don't want. And then I'm going to expose the tip. Catch that in now. I've waxed my thread before I start it. So there should be plenty of grip. Trim that away. Get that secured and just then I'm just gonna use up all of this partridge feather. I mean I don't own get what oh, there's a ton and a half. And that's it. Right, there's no a huge amount on it. Yeah, it's secured and the stem's a bit thick, so I'm just going to trim it away. Nice and close. And then, same as before, I'm going to just take a couple of we wrap back and then I'm actually going to take a couple of tons of thread just onto the onto the hackle just to sort of push it back into the the Chinese hackle and that gives you a, a nice attitude for the, the feathers, feather fibres and then it's just a case of coming in Whip finishing. Finishing off the head as you go. And that's it. It's a very nice fly. 
very, very effective. Great for the browns. But, I mean, works well for rainbows as well. It's a, it's a really good lock fly. And the last thing is just to come in with your head cement. Just coat the whole head and clear your eye. There you go. And the fly's done. So I hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.